walking through what's almost appearing like a deserted airport. <laughs> I'm looking to go get my boarding passes from here to Anchorage and then from Anchorage to uh, Fairbanks, my final destination. And hopefully the kiosks are open by now so I can actually get my passes. And then I gotta go through security again because of this stupid eight hour layover. <laughs> it really isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> but uh, the next leg of this trip starts and I haven't had a bit of sleep since about 10 o'clock this morning. So yesterday morning actually now. So it's been uh, about 18 hours. I'll sleep well on the plane maybe. We'll see how that works. <laughs> It usually doesn't work out very well, so I don't know. As for right now, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I am going way the hell over there. <laughs> People sleeping all over the place. Probably had the same layover I did. Fun stuff. Well, I got some of what I was looking for. <laughs> Apparently, I have bag fees. I D K W T F I G O H. Ooh. I didn't have to pay for these stupid things. I'm in some uh, waiver f sort of deal for that. Club 49, if I remember right. <laughs> uh, I can't remember how that works, though. So I'll have to ask him. But unfortunately, they're all freaking closed right now. Oh, shut up. Heard enough of you. Well, of course they're up closed. I'm still two hours ahead of them. I definitely need this sleep. Because I keep forgetting what time it is, and I'm two hours behind what I used to be. And it's just being confusing. Several hours and a ton of BS later, I'm finally through. And boarding pass all ready to go. I gotta find the sea gates, which is that way. Good enough. I can't remember which gate. I gotta check real quick. I can't do that because I'm dragging a bag behind me. And it's a pain in the butt. I gotta put the camera down. <laughs> Blue carpet says first class. It's our first class and our lead partners. General Murray Line will run straight through the door. We do start our general. And it seems just in time. They're already starting start boarding. Half of the aircraft only. Those Good times. At least I made it. And we're in. Who oh, no, that's cool. <laughs> Another wiki and put. Well, I made it on the plane. Sitting behind the wing this time. So I should be able to see the real flaps real clearly. <laughs> I just can't see the engine at all this time. I'm in seat 21F. And I'm being texted. Yep. That it is. Three and a half hours. Something like that anyway, I can't remember now. I'm hoping to not be awake for much of it. Yeah, there's definitely something inside my lens and I don't like that very much, but there's nothing I can do about it, so you must live with it. And I must live with it. And everyone. Well, yeah, everyone. So yeah, I'm gonna try to sleep. Cause I've been up. Just think that's actually 732 Texas time. And that would mean I've been up 21 hours. Because I got up at 10 yesterday morning. It's too much. Got out of that habit with 
getting out of the night shift and I don't want to get back into it, so I'm going to try to get a little sleep at least. In the meantime, I say goodbye. Here we go again. We're at the end of the runway.
That's going to indicate that it is safe to load out the cabin. At that time, you should have plenty of opportunity to check around your seating area, the overhead bins, and the forward coat closet, and some of the personal items that you may have brought on board with you. Your check baggage may be claimed in approximately 15 minutes at the baggage claim area of the terminal on the lower level of the building. I think I'd be used to this Anchorage rainy summers. Can't even see out the window. <laughs> yeah, you know what it says. <laughs> Been here enough times to know. Our old house is off this direction. Imagine you can't see anything through the mist. Kind of hoping to see the mountains because I hear they got termination dust here already. Typical. I should have expected this. <laughs> That's my next gate. C4. And that one doesn't start boarding until about an hour from now. About 9.20, I think, what the ticket says. And I'm on Alaska time again. <laughs> it feels nice to be on Alaska time again. Eh. Well, this place may not have a subway, which I would really love right about now, but I got the next best thing, I guess. I hope it's a decent sandwich. <laughs> and at least they provide power a heck of a lot more openly than Seattle did, but I highly doubt their uh, network speeds are anything close to matching what Seattle had. <laughs> I would be most amazed. Let's see what we get. Well, at least we get something. <laughs> you know, I gotta admit, I'm genuinely happy with this sandwich. The uh, turkey ranch and Swiss, if I remember right. It is good. <laughs> I like it. Well, I'm a big sucker for Swiss, so that's a big deal. <laughs> Anyway, it is currently 8.45, and as you can see, my flight's not going anywhere until 10 o'clock. Although they start boarding at 9.20, I don't see what's the big split in there. Why? But, there you go. Like 183. Mm, so I get to move. My last flight of the day. I'm gonna be on that plane. Oh my god! Indeed, kid. <laughs> now preparing to board once again. I got another engine seat. <laughs> My last flight out. Hey, this plane doesn't have the wingtips. Interesting. That's the one I flew in on. In C1. <laughs> That's fun. Didn't even have to leave the terminal this time. That was nice. And they're playing music here, so yes, I'm talking a lot. Get over it. <laughs> I don't want my video flag, thank you very much. Anyway, uh, we'll be taking off soon, hopefully. Well, actually, no, we won't be. Because apparently the takeoff time's not till 10. I wonder what they're waiting so long for. It doesn't make any sense. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to get off now because I'm sick of recording. Oh, oh, hey, look up here. Oh, there we go. Starting to set in here before it's even September. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? 
Anyway, I'm out. Bye. I'm back again. Going out the conveyor. <laughs> well, at least I know it stayed on the trip. At least I know I'll be seeing it in Fairbanks. Well, hmm. <laughs> I'll be seeing it in Fairbanks. <laughs> and now it's our turn. Three times. And once again, we get to watch the ground disappear out from underneath us as we rise up into the air. We get ready to be slammed into the back of our seats. <laughs> Feeling of thrust, I enjoy. <laughs> Your power coming out of these engines. Here we go.
seeing quite a bit of while I'm here. Ah, and here's the field leading up to the runway. Say hello to the ground once again. I'm going to find it hard to believe mine is not going to be one of the first ones out of there because I've noticed several times it's been one of the first ones loaded. So <laughs> hopefully it shouldn't be too long, but this thing just turned on like five seconds ago. So. Pretty soon. Well, I guess nothing coming up yet. <laughs> Here they come. Okay. Those two are like mine, but they're not mine. Crunch. Oh, I wonder if they unloaded the front compartment first, because mine was loaded in the back this time. That'd probably do it. It might be, it might be a while after all. <laughs> You know, I gotta say, it's really nice to be able to walk out of some place and it'd be cooler outside than it was inside. <laughs> Being down in Texas, you really don't get that a whole lot. <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine. But up here, it feels really nice right now. I like it. Looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty nice day. There's my ride. <laughs> awesome. If that's the case, I need to put my laptop away because it's like sitting on me right now. And I will get back to you in just a moment on that one.